What is up everybody, it's Gorilla Man here, back with another Car Mechanic Simulator 2015 video. Say, uh, today will be the, or today should be Christmas, and this will be our Christmas special. Uh, today's video will be an hour long uh, Christmas special. I'll be trying to take you through the whole process of a restoration from beginning to end, and I will be trying to make as little edits as possible to this video to give you guys the real full extent to how it goes. So I have a Maserati right here that I bought from the uh, shop, and I picked up this Maserati for $40,000. And I saw that some of you in the comments section were saying, hey Zach, or hey Gorilla Man, do, um, do a car with a turbo. So I've been thinking about that. And I think I can fit a turbo onto one of those T-Series. So this car I'm going to be setting to the side, just for now. And then we will be heading over to the uh, auction center and we're going to be trying to pick up one of the T-Series Bentleys. So it may take us a few tries at the auction house to manage to pick up one of these T-Series. But the T-Series has a twin turbo, uh, I think W12 engine on it. So that's going to be the goal right there is to pick it up. And see like right here, like these little areas in between our areas, I will probably edit these out just to help move the video along and make it more entertaining for everybody out there okay here we are with another auction and it looks like in this one we have a Bentley Continental GT so let's see what let's see what this runs for I'm guessing this thing will be like starting like 50,000 but I, I kind of hope not though because that's a lot of money and I don't, I don't think somebody might push me over that Twenty three thousand, that's not too bad. Alright, you know what? I think we're gonna roll with this Bentley on this restoration, guys, because the T series is really rare, I guess, and it's hard to get. So we're gonna see if we can pick up this Bentley. It's in fairly good shape so far. Oh, and sorry if I don't talk a lot in this video sometimes because uh I just got my wisdom teeth removed and so it's been like it's been pretty pretty rough on me and hard to talk so I'm gonna try and do my best but I think we might be able to rein this one in let's try and hit 50,000 or let's not try and hit 50,000 but let's try and keep it under okay so it's me versus one other guy Come on. Come on, man. Oh, he's running me up. Nice, we got it. All right, we're going to send this one to our garage. All right, oh, we get that good Bentley. All right, so we're gonna quit. And so since that brings us down to $12,000, everyone, I think what we're gonna try and do is I think I'm gonna go to my garage and I'm gonna sell the Stardale I have right now, which is a Maserati. It's like a turboed Maserati. I think I'm gonna take that one and sell it, get the 40 grand back on it that I spent. And then I'll put that 40 grand and whatever else I can manage to uh, scrounge up from all my leftover parts. I'll put all that money towards this uh, Bentley Continental GT restoration that we're going to do here in a second. So I'll be right back with the Maserati. And we got the Maserati back from the garage. Um, I'm going to sell it. Yep. Just to get the money off of it. And then we are going to direct all of our attention to this guy. Alright, so this thing comes with a W12 engine in it. Um, let's check and see what's wrong with it. So everything's at about 60 percentage. Oh, this has a lot more parts than the ones from the past that we've done. Okay, so it's got an overall 70 percent. So we're going to start by tearing apart all the body pieces like we always do. All right, look at that door. Oh, yeah, this is a two door. I forgot. Tail lights. That's already missing a tail light. Nothing on the back. Is that really it? Wow. Okay. 
Oh, you can't even take the seats out. Okay. So, I'm gonna move this one over to my left lifter. Oh yeah, and I saw in there, uh, you guys commented and said you wanted me to change up the uh, stripes, so I changed the stripes. And I had an extra experience point, so I also changed up the flooring. It's like the flooring where if something drips down in there, you can like, you don't have to like go and wipe it up right away. You can just sit there and you can like pull these little mats out and yeah. So we'll start by, uh, let's check the inventory right now. So in our inventory, looks like we got a lot of parts left over actually. So here really quick, we'll run over here to this bench. We'll see what we can repair. Okay, 100, 100, good. All right, would you look at that? That actually went off flawlessly. I've never had that happen before. All right, so we can slap a good hood back on there. We still need, oh, oh, come on. Ah, I keep going off of it. So we need a front bumper. So a front bumper and a front tail light. Let's go look at that really quick. All right, so. Bentley Continental G. So we need the front bumper, and we also need the front, the front right headlights. All right, let's slap that on. All right, make sure everything's at 100%. It is. No front left doors, really. Um. Oh yeah, we were missing one. All right, front left door. Let's check the trunk. So we need a left tail light. Looks good. Right tail light and then our right door. All right, so body condition. Whoa, what was that? It's 92%. Okay, and let's hit this up with a quick body frame restoration. 16,000. Ooh, all right, there you go, looking shiny. All right, now we will start diving into the internals of the engine, but first we must drain the oil if we're gonna tear apart the engine. And this time I will get this oil drain correct. So you set it right below the drain plug. So let's find that drain plug. Whoa. Anybody see the drain plug on this? Maybe it's right up here. Whoa, where is the oil plug? I am yet to work on one of these, so I am not sure. Is it up in there? Nope. Um. Huh. I think I found it, there it is. Okay, so we're gonna wanna angle it over here a little bit. Right below that. All right, there we go. We got it to land in there. That's the most important part. All right, now we don't lose any extra money off of that. Drop that guy off. Ah, we just need to. Come on. There we go. So now we can go up under here and we can remove oil filter and this oil pan because we will be taking out the internals because we always got to do our jobs at 100%. All right, I'll go up under here, take out these caps so that when we are in the middle of tearing apart the top end of the engine, we're just doing this so we can get straight into the uh, pistons. We don't have to wait on anything or only thing we'll have to do is come back and remove the crankshaft. All right, there we go. Drop that back down. All right, so we're gonna hope to repair a lot of this engine. And then if I get a little confused on these parts, guys, just bear with me, because this is also my first time taking a look at one of these uh, W12 engines, like fully taking it apart. I have worked on one of them, but I didn't, we, all we really did was some exhaust work, so that doesn't really count as much. But yeah, these engines look, uh, this engine looks huge. I'm really excited to see what kind of power we can pull out of this thing. 
All right, that's a big, big manifold. Oh my gosh, there's so many slots for this. All right, and then we'll slide it back over here, pull out this fuel filter. Servo's gonna come out with us. So yeah, we're just gonna replace everything in this. We got 51,000, I think we can do it. Ooh, that radiator looked bad. So we'll start with these ignition coils. So we got six, six ignition coils per side. Whoa, look at that. That is, this is a massive, massive engine. All right, come on, there we go. So it looks like the spark plugs alternate every other one. That's pretty cool. I like it. Surprised the price that we were able to pick this thing up for at the auction. Actually, I was expecting it to be starting out in like fifty thousand, which would be bad for us. But all right. So you guys see over here the timing. I guess the timing chain for this side starts right here, which is a little weird. Um. So to take off this take off this cover what timing cover is accessible from underneath all right that's weird all right i guess you guys are learning this as i learn it though all right so then take these spark plugs out and then we will Ooh, wow they actually put a thermostat in this one too that's pretty cool anything else we gotta take out we'll go over to this side Pull off this turbo housing. I wonder what this is going to make at the very end of this. Probably it's, it's probably going to make a lot of power. Take spark plugs out while we're at this. Ah, let's get this out first. So it looks like this side is a little bit different than the other one. All right, still got a lot of these caps though. So I hope everybody's having a good Christmas so far. So this will be put up on the 25th of December. So that'll be Christmas day for everybody. I hope everybody's having a very Merry Christmas. Uh, you guys, I think the squad's gonna post a video today or a Christmas special today. So you guys wanna check that one out. But I plan on having uh, all my little Christmas lights up here on the edges of the screen be looking all nice and pretty nice and festive say so around my house uh, we do I don't, know if, I don't know if many of you do this but we do a uh, real Christmas tree uh, I know it's kind of like a dying tradition which is partly part of the reason we do it but it's like I really like the real Christmas trees I don't know about any of you but it's definitely one of my favorite things about this time of the year we live in Iowa, so it's not too hard. You just go down to, there's a place, in, a few places in town that sell them. So you just go down there, you pick them up, drop them in water for about a day or two, and then you bring them back, and then they drop all their branches down, and it looks, looks great. All right, so now we're going to switch over here to this engine, the engine, because I'm not sure. So you have to get this out. You have to get this, and you have to go underneath the car for that. All right, let's go underneath the car. All right, let's start by pulling off this front side of the suspension so we can get up under there. Because in reality, you gotta pull off this whole thing off. All right, get the hub bearing, get the wheel hub out, and the knuckles exposed. So yeah, then another reason I didn't do go for the T-Series, because I saw some of you commented below, make, like get, somebody said, uh, buy the T-Series and make the T-Series a beast and I completely agree with you But apparently the T-Series has a couple glitches with it right now I didn't really want to have to deal with that and I saw the glitches in the last episode that we did uh, Some of the parts aren't completely named what they're supposed to be named so I was gonna I'm just gonna try and keep away from that for a bit 
And then we'll scroll back out here. Take off this rim. So there's going to be a lot of repairing going on in this episode. And we got to we got to hope that this can repair a lot of it cuz it's going to be expensive. Mhm. Mm Get this bushing out. Get this sway bar front end link B. All right. Get this upper suspension arm. That rubber bushing, and then I think I can move that whole part, and then that whole part, and then that whole part. Dang. Okay. Yeah. I forgot. This is a this is a weirder drive shaft. So I gotta pull some parts off. Okay. So this transfer or the ugh, I don't know I can't even tell what it's called right now so all, everything goes in the end of this transfer case because this is I guess the 4x4 four four. all right pull off the gearbox I wonder if you have to take the gearbox to get that off to get the timing cover off you do you have to that would be awful like if you actually had to work on one of these cars in your life you have to take the entire gearbox off to get anywhere near the timing cover. Which, I mean, it makes sense, but, oh. Oh, whoa. Okay, so what can we get from here? Anything? Nothing. Oh, man, this is going to blow. Okay, 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 okay. I see what we can do. Let's just... Yeah, let's just finish off. Let's just finish off the back end of this car, or of this part of the suspension, and then we will go back to the uh, engine. Cause you got it. We'll have to flip back and forth between the top and bottom of the engine quite often, actually. And so, you guys, let me know down below in the comment section. Uh, so, like I said, this is like a like a special, like a one hour long special. Um, usually, I won't, I won't do this. Usually, I'll cut my uh, videos into shorter segments, 20 to 30 minute videos. Um, but I saw some of you guys were commenting below saying you really like or you want uh, videos to be longer. And I was kind of surprised by that, actually, because I figured everybody would want shorter videos. So, I mean, just comment below and tell me what you think. Like, do you like this longer one? Should I do, should I put out these longer videos every once in a while? Or... Show like the full restoration process all in one go, or should I be splitting it up into the two videos like I usually do? Or just some feedback would be great because I really use you guys' feedback to judge what I do and how I'm going to record. Then we will go up in this fuel tank, pull these off. Oh, whoa, whoa, we got swung way over. Let me get that, that bushing out, and we need this tire off. over here pull this rubber bushing out there we go ah oh, come on I really want to get to that engine so I'm trying to get through this as fast as possible and I should be able to drop this entire area after I get this suspension arm off all right oh that small rubber bushing gets in the way every time all right Swing this guy back up. Mm hmm. So, we can now get these chains off and the camshafts and the gears. There we go. Oh, now the, oh, and the heads just pop right off. Oh, okay. This is a lot more helpful. All right, so yeah, this is, gives you guys a quick look at how the W12 engine works. It's a little weird, but it works. Whoa there.
Come on, there we go. Um, and I think that is all the parts other than that crankshaft. We gotta pop the car back up on the lift to get up underneath that crankshaft. Duh, duh, duh. And then we'll take the crankshaft out, slide back over, drop the car back down. Usually we'd get like an engine hoist and everything sit right here at the end and we'd get this whole engine out, but voila. Then let's check and see how much an engine block would run us. 12, W12 engine block would run us $5,500, everybody. Then 2200 for just the heads. That is a lot. Okay, so let's just gonna, we're just gonna head through this and repair it. All right, everybody, you ready? Okay, so here we go. So this is usually the process I go there. I just go and I just, oh, we lost one, two. Oh, sorry. Come on, there we go. We've lost three, four. Oh, we lost the turbo housing. No, that's not good. Ah. Uh, Six. Oh no. So you just gotta click back and forth a lot. This 90% chance of repair is a lifesaver. Oh, we got seven parts destroyed. We gotta hit that hundred mark. Oh, okay. Whew. Oh, okay, that was that was stressful. I'm not gonna lie, that was stressful. Um, so we're gonna go with the engine bay first. We're gonna start assembling this guy. And then we gotta pop it back up. And then once we get all the uh, suspension uh, back up under here, we will uh, roll it in and we'll get, we'll get it painted. these guys got all these hubs slid back on all right so we're gonna need to buy new brake discs and so we're right so let's go buy some rubber bushings first so we need two small rubber bushings we know actually we're gonna buy eight of these because we know we'll need some then we need some some brake discs I hope those weren't ventilated okay they weren't that's good and then we need two, four brake pads. Yes, four brake pads. And then we're gonna need a wheel hub bearing. See, some of this stuff doesn't get repaired and it's kind of annoying, but it's okay. Buy four of those. Nice, that repaired, that's good. That's good for us. All right, let's get the rubber bushing slid on. Oh, shock absorber did not repair either. Just some of the main suspension things just seem to be the only things that are repairing. I mean, it'll save us quite a few thousand though, so. So we need a rear shock absorber A. Oh, I am, I'm sorry, I messed up on that one. Rear shock absorber A, we won't need the caps. And then we need spring cap. And then you got some springs. Good. And then we need a rear sway bar B. All right, slide that one in. And then we need a rear end link. Need two of those. So after this little repair we're gonna do, we're just gonna go through and probably just sell all of the junk parts that we have. Okay. Drop another rubber, another, <laughs> drop another rubber bushing in there. Slide over here to this side. Another wheel hub. All right, get this brake disc in, wheel hub, pads, drive axle. Then we get the small rubber bushing so we don't forget it. Suspension arms. 
with these upper suspension arms. All right, so there we go. And then spring caps, uh, springs. And then, wait, so that's a spring cap. That's a spring cap. <laughs> I'm confused here. All right, so we'll buy a fuel tank. Then we'll buy a fuel pump, because I'm sure that those fuel pumps don't really repair. And they do repair. Oh, and we already had three. That's a waste of money. Dang it. Always check your inventory. Come on, Zach. What are you doing? Oh, look at those brand new shiny Bentley rims. That rim right there is like a couple, like 10, 10 grand, I'd say. I think we're missing a piece right over here. There it is. Oh, and we see that small rubber bushing down there. We still got to get put back in. Can't forget that. Oh, whoa. Rear suspension RB. Let's go buy one of those. All right, everybody. Let's take a look back really quick. Let's slap this tire on, and then we will, actually. All right, there we go. Now it's looking. Now it's looking nice and pretty. All right. So I think we have to go through and buy all new rear or muffler pieces. So... Let's go buy the W12. So we know we need we know we need those parts, and we'll take a step back and we'll buy two middle mufflers. Let's see what we got with us right now. Okay, so we don't have anything of full 100% potential. So let's just get this, and then two new catalytic converters to protect the environment. Or to, I guess, limit the damage that these have on the environment. So then we're going to go... Let's see what happens when we type in W12. Oh, nice. Okay, so it pops up all of this. Hmm. So let's go with this one. There we go. And then we managed to save this front suspension. Let's get all the bushings put in this front suspension before we do anything else. So we don't, so just so we don't forget these. I think I think everybody would would agree with me. Don't want to forget the bushings. Put the crankshaft back in that. We did save a steering rack, which is good. Looks like we'll need another lower suspension arm, and we'll need some tie rods so I need two of each because we need one for each side and then we need two double wishbone shock absorbers uh oh whoa we went out way too far all right there okay so let's go back over here so you need two double wishbones Set this guy back on here. Whoa, 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 whoa. I messed up there. That we need to take off. Okay. We need to get two brake disc ventilated. So we want to put fresh ones on there. Then put a new wheel hub bearing in. And then get that differential so we can get that one in. Upper suspension arm. So we're gonna need to buy one more slower suspension arm for the other side. And then two front springs and the front spring crap <laughs> caps. Ah. Uh, front spring and then the front shock absorber caps. And then a front sway bar. Slide that one in, and then we need end links. So what I think they did with this game was all the pieces that can get worn down and they can't be repaired, like the end links or anything that really has bushings on it, like all of these pieces basically, this link right here, these, uh, some of these axles, 
all those pieces, I think they just decided, I mean, if since they get worn down in real life, I mean, you might as well have them get worn down in this game, and then once they're done, they're, I mean, they're kind of just done. You can't really do anything else to them, which I like. It gives it a little bit more of a realistic feel to it. Let's get these suspension arms in. And I still need that lower suspension arm. Wow, that thing is at like zero. All right, suspension arm. Oh, was it B? Oh, nope, we chose the right one. Oh, yeah. All right, double shock absorber. Ah, selecting all over the place. And then we'll get these brake discs put on and we'll slap on an oil filter. And then I think our job on the underside of the car will be almost near done. Get a nice rim put on there. All right, and let's check under here. So we need to buy a brand new W12 oil filter. I can't imagine how big this oil filter would be in real life. It would just be massive. Like easily, easily the size of your hand. All right. And while we got this right here, let's um let's send it into the paint shop. All right. I'm thinking, I'm thinking a gold. What do you, what is everybody? I, I'm thinking gold. You know, live in luxury. Might as well, might as well go for it. Ooh. That's like super yellow. Should we try that? Or do you, does everybody think that's just yellow? Let's go with this. You know, I'm gonna go with that. Let's just do it. Oh, look at that gold Bugatti. Or not Bugatti, gosh, Bentley. There we go. Now it can match the lifestyle. All right, pop this hood open. Let's get to working on this engine. So we need some pistons. Um, you know what? Let's go with some performance pistons. Let's see what they got for the W12 in the performance. Oh, they got, they got everything. All right, I think I bought a lot of pistons. I don't know if I bought all of them, but so we got three, six. Nine, ten. So we got ten pistons. All right, here we're gonna go through really quick, and we're going to. So everything by condition. So we're gonna go through really quick, and we're just going to. Let's see what we can sell here. So sell all junk pieces. And then we'll go through and we'll sell all these pieces. All right, here, I'm gonna probably mute everything so you can't hear this, unless it's not that loud, but. Ah, uh, there we go. I wish there was just one big select all the junk parts to sell because I still got a lot of good parts to keep is the issue. But we do have a lot of junk parts. Getting a few bucks a piece from each one of these. Cha ching, cha ching, cha ching. All right, come on, we're almost there. Uh oh, I sold a few good parts. That's not good. It's okay. We only sold like two good parts. Okay, so. Let's hop back into these. Put some some good powerful pistons in there. 
These must be like specially forged pistons or something, something weird like that. All right, we need two more. All right, now let's check out the engine heads we can buy. All right, we're gonna buy two of those for four. Th uh oh, for four thousand a pop. That is, that's quite the investment, everybody. Ah, but you know the performance because they're black and red. All right, check out some performance camshafts, I assume. Buy four of those. That's the wrong one. All right. Performance ones. There we go. Slide over here. Get this other. Ah. Keep selecting the wrong ones. scroll over here get those guys and do they have performance cam gears is the question they do not so we will do know we will need one of those we'll need two of these we'll need two of those one of those one of those two of those two of those all right and then we gotta find Our ignition, performance ignition pieces, or should we just do? Well, let's see what they get. Let's see if they got anything for caps or spark plugs. Four, five, six, and then we need another six. All right. So we'll put all of the special optional ones in there all right and then we're just gonna need to go buy four regular cam gears for w12 well wow, it's actually getting really pricey all of a sudden everybody and then we can put this one in there since we're right here got 10 bolts in there it's not bad Okay, and then we can get a good fuel rail back in there, and then get those performance spark plugs in on this side. There we go. Get those special cam gears in, and then we need some camshaft caps. So it looks like we need seven for each row, so 14. So it looks like we need a total of 28 camshaft caps. All right, let's go look for these. Camshaft cap W12. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. All right, there we go, we can buy all of them. That is a lot of caps, but they are needed. Very, very, very needed. Oh, there we go. So we're gonna toss on a lot of performance parts on this car, but I'm not gonna go full out performance parts because, I mean, I know that there's a couple more that, you, oh, nope. I know that there's a couple more that I could probably be adding other than the ones that I am adding, but I feel like some of them might just be a little overkill, or not overkill, but unneeded. Like turbos, yes, of course turbos are needed. Like that's like the heart and soul of this thing. It's the twin turbo W12 engine, but we'll see what we're gonna do. All right, we'll finish putting in all these caps. I keep getting distracted, sorry everybody. I keep getting distracted and I keep wanting to put in all the other parts because this part just takes so long and it easily becomes the most boring part. All right, see if they have a head cover. Hmm, they don't have any head covers, so we'll just have to go with our regular head cover. I 
then we need these special ignition coils. We need to go buy a couple more. All right, so we bought 10 extras. Then before we do anything over there, we'll need to see if we can find a timing chain sprocket. So there's nothing in the performance parts. Timing chain sprocket right there. That's what we want. And then need another timing chain, of course. I mean, duh. Uh, there it is the V the W12. And then I think there's performance field filters, isn't there? Yes. Oh, and there's performance field pumps too. Okay. I'm gonna have to go put that in. Then we need another chain. We'll just type in W12, because I'm sure it'll pop up wrong one. There it is. And we gotta assemble that cover from underneath, so we'll wait. And then we need an ABS pump and a battery. We'll just do those. And then I know we have a few modules, so I won't buy any modules. What? No modules? Oh, those must have been the things that I accidentally went over a little bit and sold on. Alright, and then we'll slide over here. And we gotta put... Uh, wait, we'll put this optional part on. Give me those... Uh, those horsey gains, them horsepower gains. And then we will go with the camshaft caps, the boring part. I wish like in a uh, farming simulator you could hire a, uh, a helper and have them just go through and like do something really, really quick for you. Maybe like only like once or twice uh, an engine, but that'd be really nice. Just have them go through and put all my caps in or take all my caps out. Alright, last row here. I wonder if we were able to repair any of those uh, idler pulleys that we got to put on the timing area. Oh, looks like we went over by one cap. Dang, that's like I wasted $35. But $35 in the grand scheme of things is nothing for this car at least. All right, and then we'll put our ignition coils in. Oh, can't even get to that ignition coil, there we go. All right, slide this big intake manifold. Oh, the, the black and like chrome and red and everything just looks amazing. All right, so then we'll go over here, we'll get these special throttles put in. Then was there any special filter bases that anybody saw? There was not. Okay, so we'll just go with our regular and we'll go with our aftermarket. These ones got screws. It's so nice not to have the, the clips. And then we're gonna wanna go purchase a aftermarket alternator. There's the uh, T-Series alternator I was talking about earlier, how it's all uh, it's all glitched out and messed up. Right, and then we'll slide over here. Get a good thermostat on there. Maybe do we, let's check and see what they got for water pumps. For a W12 water pump at least. Nothing, ah, oh, it's okay. Trying to give this thing all the love I can in the performance section. All right. And we'll, oh, I keep selecting the wrong one. So we got the turbocharger slapped on there. I don't know about any of you, but I am excited to see what this baby is gonna pull. Oh, we lost the air filter cover. 
Oh, wrong shot. Filter cover B. There you are. Let's see if we can get find a special power steering. Yeah, we can. Oh, whoa, what? Oh, okay, this one does V8. All right, I was going to say, whoa, that's not fair. He can't be cutting out the Bentley just because he's got a bigger engine. She's just like the rest of us. All right, so now we need to go down here. So you need a water pump pulley. Hmm. I'm missing it. It's somewhere around here. There it is. Oh. So there's the water pump pulley. And then we need a crankshaft pulley. For a V8, since I guess they they didn't do any V12 one for this one. And we have an idler rolly, roller. We have two, three idler rollers. A version. So idler. All right. All right, so now we need a W12 serpentine belt. So we type in W12. I'll just find the whatever looks like a belt really quick. And there it is. And then we need a belt tensioner for the W12. Hmm. I know it was in here. I know we saw it earlier. There it is. All right, and then we got a good radiator, and we got a good fan to slap in it, and then we'll just do a quick scroll around everything. We just need to go up underneath and get that uh, the gearing all done and the timing area, because the timing area instead of being in the front, it is in the back. Whoa, it shot us way far away. All right, there you go. All right, and we got a good timing cover to put on this. Uh, looks like we're gonna need a flywheel everybody and then performance flywheel yes there is what oh that flywheel doesn't fit on this one no no the v12 or the v12 the w12 gets knocked again That is a shame. Oh, looks like we do got a good one on there, though. So we need a clutch pressure plate. Yep, get that extra percentage in horsepower. And then the bearing, I don't think, is anything. Yeah, the bearing isn't anything special because it would pop up right there. Snag the release bearing. Oh no, we lost the gearbox to this W12. That is gonna be expensive. Um, oh no, oh, $1,700, that's still pretty bad. Not as bad as I was thinking, but the heads for the engine, each head costs more than that. All right. Get a good drive shaft. Oh, then we can't forget to go put our uh, our uh, performance fuel filter, our fuel pump in there. So once we get all these, all this area situated, which I think we do have it all good, we'll run back here really quick and slap our performance fuel fill, fuel pump in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got to add a few extra horsepower. Ooh, body condition isn't. Crankshaft bearing cap, starter, front drive shaft C. Oh, yep, I know what we're missing. It's the stuff that had to do with this guy. There it is. Is there a performance starter? There is not. It's okay. We got one left over. All right, so we've got those in. Then we just, looks like we need to do the bearing 
caps on the bottom, slap an oil pan on, and call it a day. Actually, not call it a day, but but yeah. Still got to go run this run this pretty guy on the uh, drag strip. Then we'll slide over here. We have a lot of bearing caps. So you want to use four to screw this guy in? That seems really scary, actually. All right, and body condition is 98%. Huh. It would appear that we have someone All right, so that tail is good. Oh, the bumper. The bumper is what we missed. I knew we were missing something. Yeah, that bumper. Okay, okay. Let's see if we can repair this bumper really quick. Nice. All right, so we got that bumper on, and bam! There we go, everybody. Look at that. 133,000 which is up from that 50-ish we paid. So car values, we get in total, it's about $170,000 for it, which is not bad, not bad at all. Take it over to the dyno. Oh, oh, that could be bad. You do need oil to run the engines. There it is. Good old 10W30 like we're used to. Everybody knows this. Gonna fill it up to the brim. All right, close it. All right, so for the dyno, I'm gonna go with um. Hmm. I'm gonna say it's gonna be around 500. No, not 500. I'm saying 778 horsepower. 778. All right, let's see what we can do once we get this tuned to a certain way come on I just want to get a 5% I had a 5% but I got rid of it because I wanted to try and get a good ratio there's a 4 there's a 2 come on give me something good you have to try and balance these out, and it's kind of difficult. Three, two, one, five. There we go. We'll leave it at that. All right, you ready? I said 778. Oh, oh, 1,000. 1,319 horsepower. If my cheeks weren't all swollen from my wisdom teeth surgery, I would be screaming right now. This is, a, that's a lot. That's a lot of, <laughs> that's a lot of power under that engine. So we will take it and we will also hit up the uh, drag strip really quick Maybe because I know we hit the drag strip earlier with one of these cars and it, it went fairly fast. I remember the timing on it being pretty, pretty impeccable. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, everybody, here we are. First drag strip run. So we got W to accelerate, P and O to gear up and gear down. All right, everybody ready? Let's let's do this. Let's see how it goes. Oh, we got to shift out. Uh, it shifts to six. Oh, there we go. We're moving. Oh. There we go. That was a pretty good. So a 20 second mile. That's not bad. That's not bad. I don't know if it's it's yeah, it's by far the best mile I think I've seen I've I've had any of the cars run so far because I mean that's 1300 horsepower, so you'd be expecting it to be pretty quick, but I mean tires would make a huge difference in it. So if you have some really really thick tires, that would probably make it run a little bit quicker because it gets more grip on it, but but enough about that. Alrighty, and we're back in the garage. Um, so here we go. 
1,000, or no 1,000, 100,000 dollars. 113, 1,319 horsepower, and 4.5% chip tune. That's not bad. Um, I'm gonna head over this really quick, and I'm gonna change one of the options in here. Uh, it was something that I wanted to do. Yes. It's gonna change the color of these. to orange. Orange is not my favorite color, surprisingly. If everybody's wondering. Blue is my favorite color, but I feel like there's a lot of blue in here, so. We are going to sell this 100 and 100 Bentley GT Continental. And it, it has been a fun ride. 156 thousand dollars, everybody. That is a very, 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 very large amount of money. Then anything to upgrade here? Nope. And then I will check and see if we got any jobs right here. So we, if we have any T series jobs, actually. Oh, we do. Let's actually take this job really quick. Let's see. Let's see what this T series can offer us. And if it seems like we can get this done in a reasonable amount of time, then it'd be nice just to look into this engine, see what it does. Well, opens from that way. So it looks like we got gearbox. All right, you know what? Let's actually fix this. This isn't this isn't too bad. All right, so I'll move it over here. Left lifter. So obviously we we're gonna want this headlight replaced and then that bumper replaced. Take those out. What else you got? Front bumper, front right door. Front right door. Yep. Take this and then the trunk. All right, and we'll take all those pieces and instead of buying new ones, we'll just head right over here. Let's. No, we lost one. Oh, I don't know which one we lost either. I wasn't paying attention. I wasn't paying good enough attention. Oh, T series front bumper is not going to be able to be repaired. Uh, was that T hyphen series? It was. All right. And then was that it? Is that all good? That's all good. All right, car is loud. Wasn't well, that a good thing? Don't you want cars to be loud? I mean, there's probably an old person driving this. I mean, let's be honest here. It's a it's a T series, so. Looks like steering rack is gonna have to be replaced too. See, so it's actually been quite a few. It's been probably a week now since I've done just like a normal repair on somebody's car in this game. I've been just doing all restorations because I've just been so obsessed with them lately. Just the amount of money you can make, it's just wow. All right, but now we see here, we got, oh no, I clicked off. Oh, hey, you can take that leaf spring u bolt out while we're back there. And then let's get this middle muffler. And let's go over here. Let's get this other leaf spring you bolt out. Those probably are impacting the performance a little bit. And then let's turn it. And then we're going to have to take the starter out too. And then, come on. We need to click on that drive shaft. There we go. Sometimes it can be a little difficult to click on the things in this game. I know I just realized that this, this video right here is going to be just a only Bentley video which is kind of awesome actually Ooh, look at that clutch pressure plate and that bearing let's get this let's get this crap out of here all right there we go let's get this rim off and then we want this front swaling outer tire rod inner tire rod man this thing is trash how this game's a little unrealistic though in the fact that it only does those little little parts uh like like if one part is ruined like that then basically the whole part should be ruined like that little tie rod right there that was sitting right here the outer one wasn't ruined which 
I mean, it really it should have been. So, so we need two inner tie rods. Oh, that's the wrong one. And then we need some leaf spring U bolts. We need two of those for the rear. Then we need an outer tie rod. I wonder if they would take the car back, for, like they'd approve the restoration if we put on performance parts. I was just thinking about that. I wonder if they would. Sway bar. And link B. And then we need a steering rack also. And then exhaust manifold T-series and a middle muffler. So we'll go for the middle muffler first. And then we'll go for the exhaust. Ah. Uh, Okay, so exhaust manifold T series. All right, everybody, you guys probably see it, and I probably don't, cause I'm blind. There it is. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa! I went out, exited way out. All right, so do we get everything for that? So we need a we need a whole whole new clutch actually. And then we need the T T series gearbox. Mm, there she is. And then we'll go back here and we'll get these U bolts put on. Ah, oh, kind of hard to maneuver in this game sometimes. All right, yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna click out of that. Okay, there we go. So we're just going to start slapping all these parts back on the steering rack and the front suspension. Nope, we want to get this end link on first. Supernova. All right. There's that side open. They put a little, little cap right on that tire right after we did that. That was actually pretty cool. Right. Then put this on there. And then yeah, see watch this. Ready? The little cap gets put back back on. That's actually really cool. I really like that. Alright, so get that clutch plate put on there. Oh, we already had a clutch plate. That's a bummer. Oh yeah, I remember it was from the uh that's from that Bentley before. Uh Bentley's costing me so much money. All right, we'll go for the starter first. And let me double check all the edges, make sure that's it. And we'll get that drive shaft put back on. Oh, and then that middle muffler right there. I can see that, can't forget that. Everything's so bright. All right, make sure everything is good, except for those two pieces. Oh, okay, let's go, it's back out of here. Drop my lift, hit the, hit the down button. Ooh, this T-Series looks really cool, though. At least uh, the top of the motor does. All right. There we are. We'll close this hood. And I think that's it. We get 5,725. Definitely not as much as the GT series. Or as the GT. But still get a nice chunk of change for that. Hey, let's. Oh, dang it. Uh, see if we can... <laughs> like, hey, let's see if we can repair these parts all the way. Um, Let's sell all these junk parts in here. I think that got rid of all of that. Actually, it did not. But now we see we have all these leftover parts from our past pieces. And you know what? I think I'm just going to go through and sell all these parts right now just to clear out our inventory and just to see what we can get. Sell everything for $13,000? That's not bad. That's like a few that's like two or three jobs right there. All right. And I think I'm going to end the video here everyone. Uh 
I just wanted to say thank you for those of you who ended up staying till the end because I know this is an hour long or like almost an hour long thing. So it's probably been going on for quite a while now. I just want to say thank you for staying till the end and watching the whole thing. Uh, I hope everybody's having and or has, if you're watching this past, has a great, great Christmas and a Merry Christmas. And uh, if you like the video, leave a like. Uh, if you're not subscribed to me, subscribe to me. I put out content like this pretty regularly. So usually it's at least once a day. And I will see everybody on the next video.